Hi guys! Hi Welcome guys! Welcome to Dinosaur Fossil Hunter Prologue. Uh, we hope you can hear us well. And you probably remember us from the previous stream, from demo and other games. So yeah, I think we should begin right now. We have a slight, slightly diff different setup, but I hope everything is uh, okay and you hear the game and hear us. And yeah. Let us know if everything is alright. Yeah, and let's start playing. Okay, no need to shout, so maybe we are loud enough. Okay, so let's begin. Okay. So as you can see, we have new loading screens uh, since the demo. So but there are a lot of changes, you can read all of them uh, on our uh, devlog in, on Steam or on Kickstarter. Yeah, so we are just waiting for the uh, loading and we can start. Pyramid Games presents Dinosaur Fossil Hunter Prologue. So, uh, this is our museum and you probably remember it from the demo but but you will notice that there are some changes here now uh, can walk. yes uh, yeah of course you can walk but there is also uh, those uh, tablets with information about uh, each dinosaur species uh, so we can uh, learn something about them so this is the ornito mimus so this is the, exactly the bird which we actually a di half dinosaur half bird uh, which we are going to uh, look for in this uh, in this prologue, but we also have different dinosaurs here. So this is the Allosaurus, uh, of course, another uh, American dinosaur. Uh, so you can read this uh, information to learn more about it. Uh, this wasn't uh, available in the demo. And in the full game we'll probably in, uh, add even more information, you will be able to press E to open the tablet and learn additional things about the dinosaurs. And that's the standard Bronchosaurus, the very big one. And yeah, so that's our museum. And this is another species called Edmontonia. <coughs> so probably most of you are experts, so you all already know what to expect from those. And this is a part of our museum. Uh, in the full game you will have many more rooms uh, with, with much bigger... Uh, a lot of place to, to put your uh, findings. So let's, let's dive in how this all started. So your museum is starting to run out of space and you think how it started. Yeah, so this is a familiar uh, feature of painting the dinosaur. Okay, let's grab this yeah, pencil. Let's, let's paint and meanwhile I will check if the stream is working on every platform okay. because the last time we had some uh, some um, bitrate issue with Twitch and we'll see if everything is working now. I hope it is. It isn't as beautiful as I thought it would be, but I'm trying. This is very hard. Okay, I'm almost finished. You can use the uh, eraser too, <laughs> and you got an achievement, Daddy, I drew a dino. So yeah, we added achievements to this prologue, so now you have, you are able to experience some. Okay, let's say it's close enough. <laughs> I try to fix this. Okay, where is the... I will be able to talk to you guys. Okay. Just a second. 
Okay. Could be. It was one of the most exciting days in my life. When I was eight, I found my first fossil. Okay, let's try to find this fossil. Uh, can you go back? I wanted yeah. the guys to show uh, that uh, we have birds here right now. They were not in the demo version, but now our environment is more alive. So that's, the, that's one of the many things I wanted to show you. And I think they flew away, we scared them. <laughs> so let's, let's go and find the fossil. Yeah, that's the fossil, and uh, actually it's a new model, we improved it. The previous tooth was very basic, so we decided to change it for the better. I lost it six months later. At the age of 14, nearly uh, all I could think about was putting together and painting dinosaurs models. I was getting better at it. And now we need to put up some models. This one comes with a manual. It's a dead simple. That simple, sorry. Okay, let's find parts. Oh, that's easy. Where's your head, bro? Okay, the first one is done. And here is the second. This is one tougher. There's no manual, but I got the sketch at least. So I guess people who started playing the prologue and went silent in the chat for a moment. <laughs> Everyone knows this part of this game, so... Okay, the second one is done. And now the last. Now is the time for the real fun. No manuals, no sketches, just sheer knowledge and skill. Well, this is the hard one. So as you, as you could see on the on our develop on Steam, there is quite a long list of uh, changes we made since the demo. So the, the change log is really big. Of course, the game starts almost the same, but then we've added a lot more as we go further, especially in the museum and later. So uh, bear with us, and you you will see all the good stuff. Okay, so now you could uh, repeat your. Uh, putting together your toys or you can go uh, to the next scene. So yeah, I even won the local talent show once. They loved my Triceratops. A couple of years later, the money I got as a reward in that competition turned out to be an inviolable, inviolable help. <coughs> okay, we have another achievement through Impressionate. Oh yeah, so that's yeah, another thing. But you don't see them on the stream because we have this big uh, Jeep in the right uh, down uh, corner, but we have achievements popping up uh, on Steam. 
I was exactly 20 years old when I found an article about the paleontological group in a newspaper. Turned out that they needed volunteers who were willing to work on the, on the north of the country. It was a long shot, but I didn't want to miss such a great opportunity. I took a risk and signed up for the job. As you probably imagine, it paid off. And here we are on our well-known mine, but now we have a lot more uh, information here. Uh, first we have uh, this uh, pop-up screen which shows the most important stuff. So how to use the tablet, uh, which uh, where are the most important information to look for, and uh, etc. So we can click continue, because we already know how to play. And we know that pressing X will uh, hide the, um, the information in the notification panel. So we have from Unreaded message. Uh, welcome to the mine area. Uh, I, I think you guys know it, so I just skip it. And check our map. Here we have area which we uh, want to drive. So let's try. the pointer on the compass. Yeah, so some people uh, from the Kickstarter uh, said that they really like uh, the new driving mechanics we uh, slightly improved the 4x4 four four wheel drive so we are happy that you like it and yeah and as you can see on the left down corner now we have a mini map so you can uh, more easily know where to go uh, by the way you can uh, you can uh, go out and uh, set the marker on the on the map already so yeah you can set the marker here and as you can see we have new markers, more visible, since the demo version. Yeah, and now we can, uh, we can count down the tree, which is blocking our road. So basically after we uh, released uh, our Kickstarter demo, we gathered tons of uh, feedback from you guys, a lot of uh, comments, and uh, a lot of bug reports and things uh, which you liked, which you didn't like. And so we, we read, we tried to read almost everything. Those logs are still too big, I think. We need to cut them. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we tried to read everything and uh, and add as much as possible to to make the game even better. So yeah, and we need to find the right spot. Them. And yeah, actually we have more builds coming up. Uh, this build is was released for our Kickstarter backers uh, a few days ago, and we have a new build. Uh, actually, we made a few since then, but they are still in testing, so we can expect an update probably tomorrow. We can go this or around this one mm -hmm. and. Okay, and uh, or, or cut it from the other way. What you should, you should uh, fit this way. Do you see this lake? Yeah, it will be. A, you will be able to, to swim, uh, but not in this uh, version. I think this uh, version swim, swimming is probably going to. Be Remember swimming. the GTI Vice City. Yeah. What is going to happen when I jump here? Um, so we're going to die. Uh, you may be blocked. Oh, oh I can swim. swim. Yeah, so that's the that's the working build. Okay. Yeah, so do you remember, guys? We had the stretch goal in Kickstarter about underwater fossil search. So that's another thing we already were able to add. That's uh, swimming. At least the basic version of swimming. We, we will still still improve it. But yeah, um, a lot of uh, has, a lot of uh, features have changed since since the demo version. Okay, so here we have the mud, and we have to turn for the drive and, and 
lock the differential to, to go through the mount. And here we have a rock to destroy. which is slightly uh, loud. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I hope it's not uh, very noticeable. But yeah, a lot of work on video games, so the PC got hot over the day. But everything is running perfectly. close to the evacuation site. Workflow and we should scan excavation site with ground planet penetration radar. Okay. for exploration. Okay. Here we have some interesting rocks. Okay. Now I think we can start looking. First fossils. And it will be easier if I remove some rocks from here. Yeah, so the flags are useful once uh, later in the game, uh, in the full game, you will have a lot of fossils to find. So with all the large area, it would be it would be hard to find them. But we, here we mostly know where to look. I think I see the first one. Second. Yeah, it's definitely the azul. secure uh, in the plaster and check uh, the knowledge tab in our tablet. So let's secure it first. Yeah, so they always need to be safe. Uh, yeah, 
and now we have the message about yeah we've excavated one of the one of the bones and we need we have a new message about transportation as well. Mm -hmm. Once you are done with extracting the security fossils with the plaster, put them into crates and use the car to transport them to the transport hub. So yeah, we now okay. do this. And close them up and close the notifications. Of course, and can move our first fossil, our tent, and secure it in this crate and put them. Yeah, so as you can see, now in this uh, prologue version we have information about uh, each bone. So on the on the box there is information that this is the Ornithomimus dinosaur and that this is the front spine bone and this information will be very important later once you go to the museum because now you will have to deal with the boxes uh, in the museum but you will see in a moment uh, right now you have to just uh, put all the boxes the first box was going to the roof of the car and now we have to find another one remember to to do the uh, analysis of every mm -hmm. uh, of every uh, found fossil because we've added achievement for uh, careful analysis of every uh, every rock. Okay. So once you find them, make sure to look uh, with the left mouse button. Yeah. This is empty. Uh, this is just a normal rock without any fossils in here. We can throw it away. It's not very precious. But we have to check everyone to be sure. I don't have luck today. It's not an easy job, right? Oh, I see it. Yeah, it's probably this one, but we have to dig it out because it's still in, in the ground from that other side. Okay. And now inspect it. Okay, found the fossil. Secure the finding with plaster and check the knowledge tab in your tablet. So first, take the, yeah, so that's the one, it's the hip bone, because the previous one was the right hand, now we have the hip, and then we, we will have to find head and neck. Okay, so put it in the cluster. Okay, we have 70 people on the team watching us. And So probably most of our Kickstarter backers already prayed it uh, on, in the beginning of the week. Uh, now we have now just opened the, the trunk. And here we see that this is the right hand bone. And we have one more left to find. <laughs> so, I'm also reading our Discord channel and our... Oh, you got the achievement, uh, searching like a boss. So, you, you analyzed all the fossils. Nice. So, I'm watching the, uh, the Discord chat and our one of the more, our most important, I mean, most dedicated fans, server, just wrote that... Uh, it didn't put oh, the I forgot, okay. Uh, he just wrote that uh, he, he played Kerbal Space Program a lot and uh, KSP uh, screw it for him because the, the name of the dinosaur, uh, Ornito, Ornitomimus, for him it's uh, Ornitominimus. <laughs> if you play it you know what it means. Yeah. Here we have the head bones. Yeah, so this is the head and, and the head head or vehicle. And close the trunk. We, if we run out of fuel, we can always tank more. In the prologue, we now have more fuel uh, located in the in the beginning of the scene. Now you can uh, can choose which direction you want to go. If you want to go upper um, way or another way, I see you choose the second one. Okay. 
Okay, so let's throw it through the mud again. So maybe you can You can show uh, the additional fuel where, it, where is it located. So we're going to go around yeah, here, around the tent. Um, it should be, yeah, it should be here. And on the right, I think, there, there. This one? Yeah, this one. So if you run out of fuel, you can always uh, take this one, not only from the car. I think there's a third one somewhere as well. But yeah, uh, so that's it. You can, of course, uh, add it um, to the car. And yeah, I think that's enough. We can unload it now. Yeah. Mm. And real fun is going to start right now. It will, it will be changing, uh, so we have multiple graphics here. And now we are starting to to play the new parts. So it didn't take me long to get to the museum, but even though the trip was quick, I couldn't stop thinking about the job. I was constantly preoccupied with collecting and preparing dinosaur bones. When I arrived at the museum's lab, it was the time to start cleaning what I had found. This part is really special for one thing. It's a little repetitive and time-consuming, but the result is always astonishing. Okay, so we are here, but we have some new, some new features here. So we can show that we can, for example, go outside, finally. This wasn't available in the demo. And here we have the parking lot where uh, your uh, truck will be arriving with new, new fossils. Uh, so these are these are our free boxes which arrived in this container. So we took right hand bones. Okay. So this one I think we can uh, we can uh, do this manually because it's the easier uh, easier to clean. And later we will show how the how our coworker is doing. So press E on the um, on there under the you, can, you have to put it inside the here okay and now it's open the animation and now enter station and let's get to work so that's, that's another useful thing in, in the problem that now our traits have names so we can more easily uh, distinguish uh, which bone is inside which crate and the, the easier ones we can do manually and the harder ones we can delegate to our coworker, which wasn't available in the demo but now we have it and also we have more cleaning steps so you will see it in a moment so uh, of course first we have to use the hammer to uh, get rid of uh, additional rock but later you will see new, uh, new cleaning steps carefully on the sides and here yeah and here and now you have to choose but preparation will we'll see we'll show you later this so now let's do manual cleaning yeah 
and now we have the, our bone but as you can see this is the additional step which wasn't allowed in, uh, wasn't available in the demo so right now we can uh, zoom out and start getting rid of those uh, rocks like a proper paleontologist so the bones will not just pop up from the rock we have to use our uh, nano needle right pneumatic needle to get rid of all this if you watch some YouTube videos about real paleontologists, that's mostly what they do after they find fossils. They just need to keep, uh, keep working with this tool. Uh, there are some great guys uh, on YouTube who, for example, find uh, cr crabs. So they look for like... Uh, 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 like they, they go to the beach and they look for special uh, stones. Uh, which, which have a shape like a crab and they they are so good at finding them that they know exactly that this stone will show something inside and they just go to the, uh, their workshop and uh, using this tool they will uncover the beautiful, for example, crab or some other fossil or, or a shell inside. Yeah, so as you can see, as we progress through cleaning this, the, the bones will, will be uh, once they are clean, they are landing on the table, ready for the next cleaning steps. So, that's the first step in the preparation process, it, uh, it's extracting bones from, from the rock. And you will see uh, later that we've added some progress bars to show you um, exactly um, with how far are you in the process of cleaning. Yeah, it's, it's easier to work with them this way. Okay, so we are out of the rock and now the, uh, the part with removing dust and dirt. So we have to clean every bone with our brush. As you can see, uh, the, the top progress bar is showing the current, current bone which we are highlighting, the progress of cleaning it. Then the second progress bar if, is, uh, is showing this active state. So so removing dust, how far are we in it, and uh, the last progress bar is from the overall progress in cleaning the whole set. So that's something you asked for after playing the demo, and we have added this and many more. And if you forget how to which parts you are working on right now, you can see them behind uh, on the wall. There is this uh, this uh, special card which was uh, put on the box. So you can, uh, you can always check which dinosaur it is and which part of dinosaur it is, which bone, because uh, later in the full game you will have a lot of dinosaurs and a lot of bones and it will be hard to remember which is which, of course. So I will take a look in the chat, there are some questions. Uh, what is the sound that is inside the mic? Not sure about this question. I'm trying to play it, but the car is always very slow after the log thing. Uh, try to uh, press M or B to enable for by full drive. Because if you if you go through the mud or if you go uphill. Uh, the car may have not enough power if you go uphill, so that's, that's why you should enable uh, the four-wheel drive and block um, differential. So that's helpful. Okay. So uh, maybe I will open our change log, so you will see our our progress and I will be able to read some of that for you. So, so yeah. Um, so the new, new features in the prologue compared to the demo are, as you saw before, uh, minimap is available while driving the car, uh, bonking progress bars, as you can see now, this step is called softening the matrix, so we are using special uh, like uh, acid uh, 
sometimes paleontologists uh, use acid bath, so they are putting the bones inside such a, a container full of special acids to get rid of additional minerals which are not part of the bone. But uh, we decided that for gameplay and for better uh, playing, we will I choose forgot about something. this okay. one. Yeah. So we choose uh, to, the, to spray uh, the spray option, which is also used uh, by paleontologists, but maybe uh, not as often. So now we are removing this rock matrix, which was softened by the acid. And yeah, so but, uh, I'm just looking at the, our chain rope. Uh, so yeah, after we finish all the uh, steps, we will be able to uh, put the skeleton together. And uh, in this step, in the demo version, you were not uh, able to rotate the skeleton, but now it's possible to rotate it. And uh, later we will go to the exposition, so I will show you uh, I will tell you about the new features when we when we sh see the exposition part because I think it's the one with the most new features. Yeah, here we, you have to always remember to rotate the bones to uh, to make them to clean them from all sides. Of course, we have uh, things like new auto save points, new game cursor, um, the new cleaning stage. You already saw that. There will be also a new tool visible very soon, in, uh, probably in, in the next uh, cleaning stage. Previously we had like um, a grinder, uh, but now we have a spe more specialist grinder for the paleontologists, so you will see it in a moment. Um, yeah. Basic swimming mechanics, as you saw uh, in, the, in the mine, you can now swim. Uh, yeah. What else do we have? The interior design system, we will see it later. But after we finish cleaning, you will also see new mechanics in the museum for transporting the crates and um, yeah so now this is the new tool cleaning small sediment so this is a small uh, grinder which is more precise it allows to remove the unnecessary parts of, uh, of bones after the previous steps so yeah should be easier to work with than, than the previous tool from the demo version. And we are 73% in the overall process here. So we'll probably finish this bone soon and later we'll show you how our coworker can help us with doing other faster. So as soon as this uh, testing phase is complete, uh, you will have an update with even more good stuff to, to the prologue. So probably today or tomorrow. Um, Do we have a problem again with the dinosaur? No. <laughs> oh no. I don't know guys if you can see. We have a dinosaur, have here, dinosaur again. here with a... Yeah, do you remember him from, from the previous stream? That's our, basically, that's our friendly, uh, as you can see he's a very friendly uh, company dinosaur <laughs> with very small hands. He is uh, a heart for all our backers and fans. 
who supported our game and for our Discord members. The dinosaur is just correcting me that this heart is mostly for our Discord members, so that's for you guys. Okay, do you want it? So, do, if you remember previous streams, the dinosaur was attacking us. Oh, he's <laughs> just entered the camera. But now we trained the dinosaur, so he's no, no longer attacking us. It's, it became a friendly uh, member of our team. Barely fit, fits in the in the door, but the dinosaur is helping us with tests and uh, checking if if the game works as expected. Yeah, so our T-Rex always wants some attention during the streams. I wonder if the T-Rex will be uh, popping up on the Occupy Mars stream. If <laughs> 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 it always wants to. He just need attention, right? Probably. And be some love. Just yeah. That's our dino. And now checking the, the chat. We're almost complete. Our first set of bones, which is actually right hand of our dino. Okay. So guys, if you have any questions, you can ask them on YouTube or on Twitch or, or on our Steam because we are streaming uh, on all the channels at the same time. Let's go for another box. Uh, okay, so now we can show a different... This is what? This is the head bone, right? And the last one, let's check how is it called. This one is... Mm -hmm. That's the spine. From spine. I don't remember which one. The spine is more most difficult, right? But so the most difficult is uh, the neck we would have. Mm. And that's the that's the that's head. Okay. okay, so that's the difficult one. So let's uh, let's clean it and we will send it to the preparation room. So. And we will get some help with that. So yeah, let's break this rock but carefully. Yeah, that's the head and the neck. So this is the difficult one, so we will send it to the preparation room. It's just uh, not misclick it, because it will be a long process. Okay, and one more. Okay, and now preparation room. And now, as you can see, if you approach here, you will see that a coworker who is very experienced is cleaning them super fast. So that's something you asked uh, for adding. Uh, after the demo version, so here you have it. And now, meanwhile, we can work on the third bone. Um, yeah. By the way, after you put it here, we can show the this device here, but you can uh, operate it. Yeah, you can enter the forklift and you can use it, but you will see later how to use it properly. So now I just wanted to show you that you can uh, use this one, just like in typical museum. And after our coworker fi finishes the cleaning, he will get an application. Yeah. So let's cut out the plaster. And yeah. Are we doing this one uh, ourselves, or as you wish? We can as you wish. It's we uh, can give yeah. it to it's our preparation it's room. It's your job right now, maybe. Yeah, can I can clean. Okay. No problem. Let's do this. Okay, museum worker cleaned up the fossils. Get them back and complete the dinosaur skeleton. Okay, we can 
so we can go here and now we cannot because the table is uh, occupied. Oh, okay, so we, we need to okay. finish this one first. I forgot about it. Yeah, we need a clean table to do it. I think this is the most satisfying part of cleaning bones to get rid of this, these rocks from here. Team, is what you're playing part of the prologue that is available now? Yes, of course. Uh, you can download it right now. You can just uh, start playing right now. That's what we are doing in the stream. from the hip bone and uh, and the neck bone is already cleaned by the co-worker so we are out, uh, we are going out faster now and soon we will be done with the with dinosaur but that's not end of the prologue because the prologue is longer so we will see in a moment Do we have any paleontologists here? Yeah, we, we have on uh, our Discord channel. Uh, we have actually a few, which are really amazing people. They post some uh, photos of their own uh, fossils, which they collect. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. into the grading, but meanwhile I am answering some questions on the on our Discord channel. So if you are watching uh, our stream and not 
and if you are not yet on our Discord, then this is from our dinner for you. If you join our Discord. Now I will check uh, also our, our YouTube stream on our publisher uh, channel because we are multi streaming to four different uh, platforms and um, on the publisher stream probably has super chat so I will just check if there are some questions there. steps left. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can also right click on the bone to zoom it. Especially those would be easier. Bugs because we also have a special uh, channel for our backers on our Discord and and uh, we, we created a special channel for uh, reporting bugs for the backers and there were not as many bugs actually so we just in. I hope we will be able to show you quite soon more uh, more locations and more dinosaurs to, to look for because the game got much better thanks to your support and on Kickstarter we already have swimming, we already have uh, um, internal decoration of course it will be uh, expanded uh, even more to the full version but we already managed to implement some of the stretch goals 
so it's gone pretty good. Question: do, Does fossil fuel be underwater too to find? A sec, sorry. I just asked if uh, there will be fossils underwater to find. Mm. Underwater fossils? Yes, of course. Of course, without any problem. Answering some questions in the chat. Do we know that birds are considered close descendants of the dinosaurs? So chickens are closer to the dinosaurs than crocodiles. Yes. Yes, we know. <laughs> That's funny actually. looks like a little chicken. Yes, yeah, so it does the chicken with chickens. and was getting ready for renovation I was afraid my classes were about to be cut because of that I couldn't have been more wrong about this one turns out the exhibition hall was being revamped and I was asked to participate in the re redecoration mm -hmm. but that's not all of it we were also given a second complete skeleton of ornithominus two dinosaurs for one display. Well, let's just say all the pictures of dinosaurs' life I'd studied as a kid came to life in my head. I decided to just give in to my imagination. Mm -hmm. And now the new parts. So we can okay. open the crates and so this is great. Yeah. Transport crate to exhibition room, which is here, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now we have the new options. So here we have exhibition design and, and interior design. So we can start with interior. We can show you the new options. So for example, we can select the walls, uh, how the walls should look like. Uh, so yeah, let's check them. What do you choose? Which one? Which one do you, do you like? This is your museum. This bricks will be fine. Okay. And now maybe the floor. So we can click on the floor here and choose which one you want. Oh, this is nice. Okay, we can put some. And let's rotate the. You can use RF and Q. Okay. Yeah. Do it. 
tight. Okay. So we will have some place to sit. In the full game we will add a lot more furniture so you will be able to choose from uh, really many of them. And now the uh, you can actually enlarge those because they are quite small so make them bigger with RF probably if I remember correctly. After putting on the wall you can without clicking just uh, yeah, you can okay. make them bigger. Uh, the tool tip with information uh, would be uh, actually it was in the previous build and uh, right now it's not visible but it will be in the next update probably tomorrow so you will know how to make them bigger. And here you have uh, you can put some flowers on the, on the floor. but it's okay. And now we can go back and maybe go to the exhibition design. So now we have two Ornithomimus uh, dinosaurs. One is made by us and the second one was made by our co-worker earlier. And now you can put them on the, in the middle. You can rotate them, you can change the poses. Some people forget about changing poses, but it's possible. We're pressing R off example and uh, we'll show you new features like uh, ability to put water on the exhibition and you will see that in a moment so uh, yeah, some, some people wrote to me that I should also we should also add the stream to the main game, not only the prologue, but this is the prologue release, so we are showing the stream in the prologue uh, page. Mm, I, I'm not sure if Steam allows to stream to two games at the same time, but I will try to find it later. First, do you want to put the second demo here? So you can co connect those. You can either make separate ones or connect. some log in here, some other log and yeah we need to show water because that's the new feature okay. maybe let's enlarge the the yeah so we could enlarge the exhibition first to, to, to make it bigger if we press the re resize uh, yeah to the to that way maybe With that arrow if you can like drag it mm. Okay, so we can do it later. Uh, here you can add water, so you can press down to to draw the water on the terrain, yeah, like this. So we ha you can have lakes and rivers, and yeah, you, you, you can control the brush size, brush strength. So that's the new feature uh, added thanks to Kickstarter. Mm. You can uh, also uh, choose a type of water if you click uh, on the water here and below. Here you can choose, for example, a uh, different uh, color of water. Yeah. Like that. And yeah. 
that's how that's our new feature. So we have probably two dinosaurs who came here to drink, or they are on an island right now. <laughs> yeah. So let's go back. Let's add some more something green maybe. And yeah, the big big tree. add the tablet here and see with information about this Dino. You have to uh, or you can only add this on this in this place close to the anchor and you have to rotate it and it will be here. Try to select it again like right here and then put it in the rotate. Yeah. You have to maybe add it from different side in the exact spot where this is Okay. Um, where you enter yeah. Not here. yeah so that's our that's our exhibition of course you can add a lot more you can change the floor change the uh, walls etc so your museum is now decorated and you can that's not, of course that's not the end because there is many more features in the product so here are our paintings and you can go to the next room. That was the last day of my internship. A great adventure just came to an end. The night I was packing to go back home, the telephone in my room rang. It felt almost impossible. The director called me to ask me to stay and help the museum build a bigger skeleton. There was a vacant position because one of the workers got sick. I felt bad for the guy, but I was so glad that there was a chance to work in the museum for longer. The decision was a no-brainer. I went to the museum the next day. Although the place wasn't new to me, this particular moment felt so different. It was the first time I was asked to enter the museum's workshop. With my heart pounding and my hands sweating, I walked towards the door. And now we have a new door opening before us. And nobody seen that who played the demo because this is the new room. And in this room we'll have something Something amazing. Yes, so let's go closer. I've got to admit the bigger skeleton director was talking about was indeed a huge one. I dumbstruck when I first saw the legendary Tyrannosaurus. So that's T-Rex. Even in my dreams I would never fathom that our museum was in a possession of such a treasure. Yeah, and that's that's our another job in this museum. We have to complete the T-Rex skeleton. So now let's get to work. We have a lot of bones, they are al already cleaned and prepared. We just need to put them into the uh, right order. Yeah, and there is a lot of them, as you can see. Especially when, we, when, you, end, when you go to the thief, you will see that there are uh, really many of them. And you have to find the spot to put it in, because that's inside. Mm -hmm. Maybe it will be easier to do it from from down uh, from down below. Or from the other side. Yeah, or from, from the other side. Yes. So let's put this away. Find the most yellow part where it's not obstructed by a different bone. It's very hard to find. Oh, below here. Mm -hmm. Now we have to do it lower or higher because it's in uh, inside. We have to click in the exact place where this bone is located. Not not such an easy job. It's not for the paleontologists. Maybe I can try. Okay. Uh, here maybe. Let's 
try to do this maybe from the wall. I have a better idea, maybe we can put a new bone first. Different bone first and later this one. Because this one is now that we've picked it up so we have to do this. Maybe from here. I'm going too fast. With jumping it would be easier. Because we have to do this in the right order. If we are trying to put those bones like from inside, then it will be harder. Okay, so let's find the correct bones right now. Joe here. Oh, okay. Yeah, and we have teeth in the box. It will take a while. So uh, in a real museum, it probably take takes months to to prepare such skeleton. Of course, we want it to be faster. his head from somewhere down below okay, the, the biggest element <coughs> is the T-Rex giant head this is not the last part 
Yeah, there are people in the world. There's one. That's the rib, I guess. And one more. Okay, I see. Okay. There it is, you have the achievement, True Predator. T-Rex is complete, you can exit the museum. Okay, so that would be an interesting internship. A completed skeleton of Tyrannosaurus looked majestic, and I had an honor to contribute to it. Yet another beautiful moment that has been etched on my memory forever. And we have a loading, and we will see a new scene which nobody seen before a new location on the game I graduated from college at the age of 24 I was pretty and about my marks were great so I didn't anticipate any problems in finding a job but that was about to change soon for the first six months after graduation my focus was to find a job in the field of paleontology or at least something that relates to it I submitted my resume for every paleontologist job I could find, but the jobs were either already taken or I lacked experience. After the six months I started looking for any job, but that also didn't occur easy as well. I was trying hard, but to no avail. One year after graduation, things finally started to turn around, but it wasn't exactly how I imagined it. And we have the new location. As you can see, this is uh, some kind of parking lot, and actually, that's uh, that's our our player's uh, ground pass house, right? So here we can enter the garage. My grandfather left his car workshop to me in his will. I wasn't particularly talented when it comes to automotive work. But I knew a thing or two, and that at that time I thought of becoming a car mechanic was at least something. He had a lot of weird and crazy ideas. There was one time Grandpa bought an old Russian truck, which was clearly beyond a fixed wrapper stage, but that didn't scare him. He always used to tell us he would finally finish repairing it. Unfortunately, his body didn't catch up to his spirit, and he had to pass on his little project. I decided to clean up the workshop for him. Okay, so that's our grandpa's workshop and garage, and we have to clean this mess because there is a lot of stuff in here. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to throw gas bottles, but as you wish. It's empty. <coughs> I think. Should I put these things? You can also put some of them inside the container as a proper cleaning. Okay. I have to just throw it. I have to be closer because this is heavy. But not too close. Yeah, maybe that's, that's the right that's stuff. A, that's a hard job. Let's just take everything out from here. Extinguisher probably should be left there. There are some boxes, some parts for the truck. So later in the full game we will be able to drive this truck after we fix it, I guess. So, oh, it's something in the box. I think you know this. Is this my fossil? I found the lost fossil piece that I got during the second trip. Despite it's been over 15 years, I felt exactly the same mix of excitement and joy that I had felt on that beach years ago. The need for fossil hunting struck me twice as hard. Suddenly, all of the problems that kept me from my dreams vanished. In a split of a second, I came up with a plan, and the only thing left to do was getting down to it. Thank you for playing the prologue. 
So this is an achievement. Let's let the adventure begin. And that's the prologue which uh, begins uh, the, the, the full game. So that's, that's how you learn the story. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Thanks to your suggestions and feedback, this prologue is better than demo in every way possible. We hope that you enjoyed the changes we've prepared during the last few weeks. If you want to follow the development of this game, report a bug or request a feature, don't hesitate to join our Discord server. Also remember to add the full game to your wishlist to receive notifications about updates and release dates. If you like our work and the passion we put into the game, please support us with your reviews and comments. The product release was an important milestone for us and now we are focusing on the main game. Thank you so much. And remember to add, add the game to wishlist and we'll see you uh, probably in a few months and with the full game release. So yeah, I guess that will be all for now. We are going back to the development. We hope you liked it. You can uh, play again. We have some uh, save and load ability now, so you can uh, play your museum multiple times. Uh, you can redecorate in uh, many different ways. You can share screenshots with your, of your exhibitions with colleagues. And yeah, that's, that would be it. And uh, we are now going to test another update and hopefully we'll push it uh, tomorrow or even th this evening, we'll see. And let's, let's keep uh, developing this game. So yeah, that, that will be all for now. Thank you and bye. Thank you guys, bye.